dialogue here. <laughs> All right, we're with uh, Kristen Toomey, uh, as frequent guest on the show. And uh, thank God we have her because nobody else wants to do the show. <laughs> How have you been? Really good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Man, how are I, you? I'm great. I just want to start off by saying I can't get over how great you look. Your thank your, you. uh, your hair is really long. I remember the first time you came on, you had short hair, and now it's long and it looks wonderful. Yes, it um, happens over time. Man, you, you, now you were here about a year ago, and, um, and then uh, we talked about uh, you were kind of just maybe, you know, just doing it for a little bit, and then... Uh, you're all over the place now. You got like uh, your own comedy production company, Box Art, uh, Boxcar Productions. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's uh, Boxcar Comedy Productions, and I started it in June, mm -hmm. and um, it's going really great. We're doing shows all over. We've mm -hmm. um, done shows at. You know, uh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> we have to start again. Microphone, your microphone's not on. Uh, do I need to turn it on? Yeah. Okay. That's Turn them on, Chris. Oh, I'm glad. I was, I'm glad we're doing it again because yeah. I was really, like, nervous there. I don't know why. You got nervous? Yeah. The no underwear thing, big, right? I, I think it threw me off. I, I threw like, you for a loop. You did. Still recording, sorry. Oh, that could be in the bloopers. <laughs> the outtakes. Still recording. Okay. Do you just want me to start? Just pick up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we're here with uh, Kristen Toomey, everybody. Hi, guys. And uh, she um, is a frequent guest on the show, and um, thank God for that because nobody else wants to be on the show. <laughs> um, it's literally right down the street from my house. I know you live a, you live a block away. Yeah. And uh, but uh, also also she does it for the money too. Yes, it's good good money, big money. Mm -hmm. All right, now um, you were here about a year ago, and uh, since then, boy, you've you've like gone nuts. I told you you're going to be on the Matt Cassain show. You're going to become unbelievably famous and it yes. happened this is the catalyst for that. she uh kristen toomey even started her own production company that's what we're going to talk about uh, right now she has uh boxcar comedy productions which is uh something really cool that she's going to tell us about yes um i started boxcar comedy in june mm -hmm. and um it was mostly just to like bring shows to uh the suburbs places that maybe don't normally have comedy so it mm -hmm. would um get more people interested in seeing stand-up mm -hmm. and um we've done shows all over mm -hmm. um i even did a show in a grocery store which was fun now <laughs> i did i did see that um I, I i gotta be honest with you i had jokes that like that were kind of funny like if you were you know, in the deli or something like that, and somebody was like, you know, uh, there to buy like provolone or something like that, and you're like, okay, uh, give me a quarter pound of provolone, a half a pound of uh, no salt turkey, and um, can you do a dick joke for me while you're? <laughs> I just sorry. No. No, I thought it was. I thought it was awesome. I don't think anyone's really... ever done a stand-up yeah. show in a grocery store. That but was, it, you went, it went good, right? It, it was good. really good. Yeah, it was after hours, so there wasn't people getting no salt turkey, ah, which right. would probably be really gross. Yeah, it, um, it would be bad. It and be bad. Uh, but yeah, it was really good. We had a good turnout and a fantastic lineup, and yeah. it was great. Um, and now we are. Uh, this weekend we're going to be at Northern Illinois University. Wow! So we're doing you. That's colleges. That's a big deal. Yeah. Playing colleges. Colleges. Nice. And then um, also nice. we have a, a <laughs> we have a home. <laughs> Just go ahead. Don't we... don't pay attention to that lady over there. <laughs> the purple week. It's a lady over there we're drinking. We're being heckled. We're being heckled there's, in a talk there's show. There's four people in the apartment. We're being heckled. This is a first. This is um, definitely a first in talk show history. <laughs> yes. The first talk show. This host. doesn't happen to Oprah. No, it doesn't. Or Rosie. No, but we are giving away a brand new car to everybody here tonight. <laughs> yes. So. Is there no vendor make sure? <laughs> All right. So, so go ahead. Pick up where we, where we left off. Northern Illinois. Yes. You're playing at the uh, Great Northern Illinois NIU out in DeKalb. Uh, what are you guys doing there? Is this a? Uh, it's a benefit show for um, the. L G T B is that right? Good thing you did your homework on the show that you're doing. <laughs> you brushed up on that, didn't you? I wasn't gonna talk you're about like, it. Like, you're like looking at me like you're like, help me, Matt. Help yeah. me. What's the name you know, of the it? lesbian <laughs> gay? Oh, yeah. is it is it is that the what the heckler's is? helping? Is it the lesbian, lesbian gay bi, bi trans, 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 trans gender? Okay. I'm all 
And me too. I'm all for it. Okay. But um, for the Hispan, I don't know what it is, but it's for charity. Okay. It's for good cause. All right. All right. You guys, because I care. There's really. going to be a lot of uh, people there having fun with rainbow tattoos. This right. is going to air long after. We might actually might use this for like your a little promo thing. So who knows? Well, please don't so, use when, that. When is the actual uh, Northern gig? When is that? Friday. Is this Friday? Okay, so that'll be November 18th. November 18th. Okay. Good. I'm playing at a bar mitzvah, <laughs> so I can't, I can't make that one. Uh, Shlomo is making his bar mitzvah, so I'll be in uh, Skokie performing there. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, okay, so wait. <laughs> I was going to talk about the Boxcar's new room. Okay, That go, was like go the ahead. main thing. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so we're going to be at the Comedy Shrine. The Comedy Shrine. In yep. Aurora. Run by Dave Sinker. Yes. Okay. Starting uh, December 2nd. Okay. And we're going to have the late night Friday show. So it'll be every Friday at 10 p.m. Um, at the Comedy Shrine in Aurora. It's mm -hmm. like right in the Fox Valley Mall. Okay. Um, this is starting when now? December 2nd. December 2nd. Okay, so get out to Aurora, go see Kristen. And now now when you say it's going to be a late show, is that going to be like more adult-themed material? Or? Yeah, it's going to be like a nightclub atmosphere. We're okay. going to have a DJ and special guest um, acts and, nice. and stand-up. Wow. And... Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Wow, that is. A lot is. of drink and a lot of good times. I'm going to have to come out and see your show. Yes, please. Uh, now, uh, okay, where, where else have you guys performed besides Northern Illinois and uh, the Comedy Shrine? Where else are you guys playing at? And the grocery store. And the grocery store. Which was in Glen Ellen, right? It was in Glen Ellen? Downers Grove. Downers Grove. Lemon oh. Tree Grocery. Okay. Where, where else can uh, people see you guys? Because I know you, you do, you're up on Facebook all the time, you know, plugging your shows. So where else? Yeah, we have a show um, coming up in December. Uh, December 15th mm -hmm. at Fitz's Spare Keys right in Elmhurst. Okay, on York Road. On York Road. Okay. Well, I think it's 119 North York Road. Okay. Um, and Mike Stanley is headlining that show. Very funny comic. Okay. He was uh, voted funniest stand-up in Chicago in 2008. Wow. Chicago Reader. That is quite an honor. He's, very good. Yes, very funny. Very funny. Mazel tov. Excited. Okay, uh, now um, as far as your, your shows and your audiences go, anybody can come out and see you guys. Yeah, um, our show at the Shrine, which mm -hmm. is every Friday, mm -hmm. uh, starting December 2nd, is 18 and over. Okay. So that's, you know, we're reaching out to the college group and uh, trying sure. to get them in there. Tell us a little bit about, you, you mentioned Mike Stanley. Is that the guy's name, yeah. Mike Stanley? Mm -hmm. who, who else do you got on your shows? Who are, who are some of the other comics that you guys book? I have uh, two co-producers um, that are helping me out, and... They're very great guys. It's uh, Ed Hansen mm -hmm. and Matthew Drufke. They're... Yeah. Um, okay. Formerly from Quick Wit, uh, Midwest Comedy Showcase, right. um, been producing forever in the suburbs. They're great guys, and they're my co-producers, so they'll be on shows with me. Mm -hmm. um, also, we've had Jeff Hansen, who um, like Chicago Underground Comedy, okay. and um, some of the comedians you should know guys have been on our shows. Um, and yeah, just a lot of local Chicago comics that are lots really of guys, funny. a lot yeah. of guys out there. They're all funny guys. Mm -hmm. um, now, somebody, Kristen, if somebody wanted to book you for a private event or a charity event, you know, um, you know, somebody said, "Hey, we're having a we're having a party. It's closed to the public. Uh, could we could we book some uh, comedians for that? Would you guys be able to do that?" Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, and to contact us, you could go to our Facebook page, which is. Um, mm -hmm. Facebook dot backslash boxcar comedy. Okay. Or you can find us at um, email us at boxcar comedy at gmail. Okay. And what we're gonna do right now is uh, show a couple of minutes of your stand up act, which is hysterical, and, um, and then we're gonna be right back. So just stick around. We'll be right back after this. You know, that's what I call them, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. Those really nice, quiet guys. Like you go out out of pity almost. Like feel bad for them. And then like you're like, oh my god, he's so nice. I might let him bang me. <laughs> and then he pulls out like this monster. And you're like, what? <laughs> and your first thought is, you could be such an asshole. <laughs> like, you could get away with being such a dick. Why are you nice? <laughs> and then I married him. <laughs> I peed on them, everything. <laughs> All right, Kristen, if I missed anything, you know, just go ahead and just get right in there. If I missed any anything that I, I, people should know about Boxcar Comedy. You want to give out your website one more time? Um, it's it's our Facebook page. You could like us on Facebook at um, Facebook 
boxcarcomedy.com backslash boxcarcomedy. All right. Or you could email us at boxcarcomedy at gmail. Um, we're also on Google Plus, even though I don't really know how to work it. What is Google Plus? What I is that all know. about? I don't know. It's like a weird... Strange. It's one of those things that's got to catch on. It's like a ghost town over there. Or you can follow us on Twitter at Boxcar Comedy. Twitter. Follow me on Tweets. Twitter. And Kristen Toomey. Facebook. We'll put your name up there. There Facebook it is. Kristen Toomey. Toomey. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, I really hope everybody comes out and, and checks out our shows. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're really trying to put up together really, yeah. really tight lineups and okay. um, have fun. All right. That's well, it. thank you for being a guest. It's thank always good you. to see you. Thanks, Matt. And uh, folks, stick around. Uh, we'll be back um, right after this. Thanks. Make your next party come to life. Call absolutelyentertainment.net. Fun, interactive DJs, children's entertainers, plus celebrity lookalikes, singing telegrams, and more. Call today for a quote. 630-279-5088 or visit us online at absolutelyentertainment.net absolutelyentertainment.net the official party animals